Hello friend, hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you for joining me in a brand new episode of 7 Days 1.0 with Propocalypse Full Overhaul Mod. It is the morning of day 22. I brought you in before 4 a.m. because I wanted you guys to see how the poor Dire Wolf will literally pass in front of us due to time. The time of the day will definitely take care of him. 4 a.m. he should go to the floor. And he did not so much for that guess what we're gonna get to do we are gonna get to take care of them but i have to wait at least 30 seconds i have my sellables here we have four points to spend let's do those it does kind of hurt me not to put them into strength because that's our build that's that's what we're about that's that's who we are that is the core of our existence in this series not to sound too dramatic there but it is however however there are some other points that i want to spend like pain, tel pain, pain tolerance that's a good one uh iron guts also another good one means we have to eat uh and we don't um waste our food and thirst as fast so now i'm down to two points uh lucky looter salvaging operations might be a good one only because we're not getting a lot of forge ahead magazines and right now i'm getting my steel i'm gonna do it i'm getting my steel through uh through wrenching so i'm gonna do that one and I'm gonna, I always like to leave at least one point uh, to our name, just in case we need it. We're going to take care of this guy. I have to. Let's see here. I'm going to just give him a sneak shot. And then he's going to go underneath me. And I'm going to find a way to take care of him. There we go. We got him once. Just make sure we don't fall. That'll be tragic. And I'm going to use my shoddy. Which means we may call in a screamer. Which will be another problem in itself. But I want this red back. Ooh, this guy is... He's like adamant to jump up here and grab me. Uh, this is another little cheap uh, cheese mode. Yeah, you can call cheat cheese. Same difference, right? When I grew up playing video games, you used to cheat games. Uh, and now we cheese games, but technically it's the same thing. And we didn't call any screamer hordes. No screamer. And no bag either. That's what we get for trying to cheese. No bag. Wait, I heard her. I heard her. She's she's around. I, I kind of want to get my reward here. If I didn't get a bag, at least get my... my Oh, my leather. Oh, she's a goner. I couldn't tell if she was gone because she was already radiated. Oh, no, they're all coming. I don't know if I, if I have time to do it for this. Uh Oh, my bag is down there. I did get a bag. I just made a hole. That's the problem. We still have the cop vehicle to get here. I'm, I'm going to search this for this really quick. We'll see what we got in a little bit. I hope I have a way out of here. I might have just locked myself into this little... Yeah, I think I did. Can I break that? Yep, we can. All right, cool. I totally locked myself in that railing there. That wasn't cool. I'm going to get out of there. Guys, we know the rules. If we get a, a, a wandering horde, cool, we'll deal with it. But if we get a screamer horde, it's a non-ending thing. They just recycle them like... In insane amounts of numbers. Let's go ahead and search this vehicle. And then let's see what we got. That was really cool. I saw a bunch of stuff. Let me see. All right, we got two uh, home cooking. I got two shoddy books. And then uh, armor parts. We got a raider outfit. We are wearing the same one. Cool. And this one is worse than ours. So uh, technically, I can sell this. I can. It'd be smart for me to repair it and then put mods into it. But... But that's fine. We don't have to. We don't have to. All right, cool. And then this is our work from yesterday. If you saw the episode, uh, we went ahead and... Oh, and we still... Dude, this dude's still alive. All of them are alive. I kind of want to take care of them with this little rifle. You got a horrible aim, bro. Uh, but what do we take care of them with? The shoddy? We have to, right? Okay, we have to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, easy. Man, you're one angry dude. Okay, we can do the rest without using excessive force here. And no, this pan is not excessive force. This is more like love taps. I am love tapping the zombies. Oh, and my bike. Oh my gosh. Why don't you hurt your bike while you're at it? Panini head. What's up, dude? Oh, we killed 10 zombies, guys. We got 550 dukes. And then, yep, searchable. See? 
See how that works? So basically what we did in the last episode, if you missed it, uh, we beat these cards with my pickaxe. Took a couple hits. Since we didn't have our lock picks with them, uh, the alarm was set off. All these zombies came out. I'm gonna have to fight these zombies again if I want to do this 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 quest. So I I rather just take care of them now and then start the quest rather than start the quest, have to fight them because that'll wake up the the new zombies. So we'll just take care of these knuckleheads real quick. You know what? I should take my vitamins. And remind you, my pan does have the rab remover mod. So every time I strike the radiated dudes, they don't regenerate anymore. If you're new to seven days, the, the radiated zombies, the bright green ones, they have uh, a regeneration power. Oh, nice. Which means not power, skill. Oh, is that a bear over there? That is a bear. We're just getting all kinds of fun zombies in this freaking episode. This biome is... I'm not liking it, guys. It's too dangerous. I don't know if I can deal with that bear. Oh, nice. I'm not... I'm not too sure how, how tanky he is. Oh, another vehicle magazine. Whoa. Um. Now, what we can do... This is, this is, is, we're going to call this Cheese Week. All we've been doing is cheesing it. Oh, what's up, dude? I did not see you or hear you. Can I just show up like that? So let me see. Can I? I cannot make that jump. Parkour. That's where my point needs to go. Let me see something real quick. Hold on, guys. Parkour is where my next point needs to go. I just, I just reminded myself of that. Yep. Okay. So we're doing agility. And we need agility three. Four. Oh, wow. Okay, I need to spend more points in agility, which is fine anyways, because I do want to do run, uh, run, run and gun. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, wait, where, where'd my bear go? Who bear? Oh, you're over there. I don't know. I mean, if he's going to mind his own business, I don't know if he is, though. I don't know that he is. I'm on the fence. I mean, I hope he does, right? But I don't know if he is. Uh, let me grab my ladders, I guess. Every block is important. No block stays left behind. Okay. Um, we had the option to do this or not do this. So we're just going to do it. We're already here. Oh, this dude has weapon. He's got the magnum. Don't shoot. Oh, boy. Not only did he shoot, he infected me. I was just... I either thought about telling you that I had to take my vitamins or I told you and I forgot. And I'm still bleeding. I'm bleeding and my, my, uh, oh my gosh, first aid bandages are not on my belt. Guys, I'm freaking upset because I didn't take my vitamins. It's because I hadn't started the quest. Usually my reminder to take my vitamins is when I click the quest marker to begin it, to start the quest, to begin it. You like that? And I totally forgot. Because I got too busy dealing with all these knuckleheads. It's all right. It is what it is. Um, Or is it though? Because I know in this mod for some reason, your infection goes fast. I don't have any honey. Go ahead and read these. It's going to bother me just having them there. I don't have any honey on me. I mean, I could drive around. I haven't started it. I could drive around. Wait, let's see if we have that book where we get honey from any tree. That's a thing. I do have it. I do have it. So I'm going to chop on some trees. Hopefully not run into any leopards. I think they're called mountain lions, right? Even though I do take, I do take all mountains from, from my quest, from my maps, guys. I don't like mountains in seven days. They're very, they don't make them make more, the game more difficult. They don't, they just make it, I don't know, annoying to me that the, the mountains are annoying because they take forever for you to climb up there. And sometimes they will put a point of interest on top of a mountain. And there aren't any good vehicles other than the gyro that's good for climbing those. Even the motorcycle struggles to get up there. So I always take the mountains off my maps. Uh, if you do, if you don't and you just want a, a flat terrain, you can do that. And you can only do that in the random generally worlds. That's an option before you start a brand new game. So... If you guys ever notice and realize that I never have mountains in my series, that's why. Because I, I just don't. 
All right, cool. We finally got honey. I had to go to tree stumps because the trees weren't giving us any honey. But we did grab, grab a queen bee. And then I need these to make, uh, let me see here, recipes to make this bone. Wait, no, this one. Recipes. Yeah, to make this bone broth blue spruce stew. That's a mouthful if I've ever freaking had one. Uh, oh, that's a big snake. That is a large snake. That's a big anaconda. All right, uh, let's get started. I did want to take care of that infection. And now we're going to re... Well, here's the thing. So right now we have 5% cure for our infection, right? Technically, right now, if I get hit and infected, the honey will still work. I don't know exactly how the math works, but it'll work for a little bit until otherwise. Let's go grab these books over here. I need Forge Ahead books. We already cleared this area. So we might as well... Oh, you know what? I might beat into that as well with my pickaxe. This is all outside of the POI, guys. So it's fair game. Remember, my rule... And I'm sorry if you're hearing this for the, like the 80th time. Is that I no longer pre-loot POIs before we start them in a quest. So right now we're going to start this POI. I am not looting anything inside of it. Only anything outside is fair game. And then I can start the quest by hitting that quest marker over there. So right now this... Poor ATM is receiving my anger. Oh, and the poor rabbit is coming out here like, what's going on? I still haven't searched these vehicles. We can search these vehicles. Uh, they are on the outside. And I'm looking in. And I can see through you. You see your true colors. Um, I lost my train of thought. So, that's what we're doing. Preluding the outside. Before, and I don't do it a lot. I'm going to be honest with you. I used to watch a... Uh, a seven days creator that just i'm not going to mention names but just abuses double looting to the point where i i stop and that person is really good they're really really good um but i just got tired of the double looting it, it got too too much so much that i stopped doing it i'm like man and i don't i wouldn't do it like every single time every poi i would only do it like if it was something quick something where hey i can just you know Get a couple zombies, and we're good. But it got to the point where that even that wasn't acceptable, so that's why I don't do it anymore. And then I watched another content creator who very smartly just loots the outside. That's that's his rule. It's just loots the outside, and I love that rule. So I um, very kindly took it from him, and now we're using it here. So. It's awesome, right? It works out. And I'm still searching vehicles. I don't know why. We don't need any more vehicle magazines. Oh, that's that's a regular pan though, right? Yeah, it's a simple cooking pan. And uh, did I... Finally, I did. Okay, let's try this. I have three lockpicks. Let's see if we can get lucky here. Now, when you use lockpicks, obviously the alarm won't go off. And you will not spawn in enemies. Nice. One lockpick, one vehicle broken into. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so this game is like my iPhone. It listens to what I'm saying. And so when I'm talking about pizza, I'll get like 10 pizza promotion emails, right? Uh, or my Instagram will be full of reels and stories about pizza. In seven days, when you're doing content creation and you're talking to an audience and you're like, I need my steel grade steel pan tier five. Uh, the game will just give it to you. You just got to hold off. You got to say, hey, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it and then not make it. And then the game will give it to you. What a freaking find. And we saved all that. So all that steel is going to go into our base. I say all of it, like all 51 of it. Oh, that's it. No more. Okay. Let me. Oh, my God. I'm going to repair it. For starters, we're going to repair it. Sorry, guys. I lost my breath there for a second. Uh, we're going to drink a little bit of Juicy Juice. And we're going to remove the mods from you. We're going to go from a tier 1 to a tier 5. Let's see the difference. You do 35 damage. 35-3. And it's 50 damage. That is a big deal. 15 difference. And I have one more slot for you. So technically I can put uh, something else in here. Right, right. Uh, Alright, cool. We're good here. Let me see. I haven't taken my vitamins. Let's take our vitamins. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, because uh, I'm still in the modified option. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's put everything inside our motorcycle. We're going to go in there. We're going to go ham. Uh, guys, let, I need your help. Uh, if you're still watching, I need your help. A little bit of feedback. Let me know what you think. My videos have been going uh, 
way beyond 30 minutes. Uh, most of them have been 40 minutes. And I don't know how you guys feel about that. If they're too long, if you're a fan, but you feel like they should be a little bit shorter, let me know. What I can do is I can cut down on the nonsense that I go off on sometimes and my rants and then just show you like the action, right? Like that when I actually take care of the zombies, I can make, I can make that adjustment. That's an easy adjustment, but you guys let me know what you think. If it's if, if 40 minutes, 30 minutes, what would you prefer to, to see? Um, let me know in the comments. I think I'm also going to place that comment in this episode at the, as a top comment. So if you're watching and you want to comment there, uh, I'll give you that opportunity. But anyways, all right, we're done with that. So I'll, let me see if I can give you a good example of what the, that would look like. So I got all of this, right? We're going to empty our motorcycle. I'm going to go through this, through this POI. Uh, we're going to retrieve the supplies. I'm going to kill every, every zombie. I'm not going to say a word uh, unless I find something sexy. And then I'm just going to show you the um, when I take care of a zombie and then when I loot something sexy. Deal? Deal? Okay, here we go. Awesome. All right, we clear the place. We are good to go. This is actually a nice POI. I like it. I was not expecting this. It's very, very, very small. Uh, action packed for sure. There were plenty of zombies everywhere. I think it's only a tier two though, right? A, I can't remember what tier uh, POI, I mean, um, quest this was, but. I liked it. I, I think I, there's a version of this kind of gas station thing magic that's a lot bigger than this. And, and that's why I enjoyed this one because it was smaller. And when you're used to something that's that's um, that's a little bit larger in size, right? Even anything, right? Like if you if you're eating a cheeseburger and it's too big, but then you grab the same cheeseburger, same taste and everything, but it's a smaller one, you're probably going to enjoy it more because it doesn't fill you up as fast and you actually enjoy it kind of it's something similar uh when it comes to these type of pois when you see a bigger version of a poi and you've done it a couple times and it takes forever but then you do a shorter one it's like oh cool i'm done very very cool all right let's see what we got here so we got a biker outfit uh which is going to give us a lot more health bon bonus than what we have it's better than what i have i gotta see i gotta weigh it out right now i'm gonna sell this mod we're gonna read scrapping for fun and then we got this challenge, Sledgehammer's challenge. Now, does that mean I'm going to buy a Sledgehammer if I see one? Heck yeah, because I want to get those challenges. One thing I did do right now, uh, and you'll pro you probably saw it, is we, do we did take care of a... Where are you? I can't find you, Big Mama, Arlene, Shotgun. Have I not read it? Tell me I've read it. I I got a um, a Lumberjack with my with my uh my pick my uh axe steel axe but i don't see it i took one of these guys out too yeah see there's i got two of those already oh i haven't read it yet i have the vultures the demos the shetties the pipe batons pistol shotgun bikers big mamas yeah i haven't read that book yet i know i have to do it but i haven't read the book and that is unfortunate so let's see is it easier to do this yes it is we can just get out through here and technically, I can search all the all the cars again. I don't know if I should. I mean, the only thing that we would get is vehicle magazines. And we already found all the vehicle magazines I need. The other thing I got was a cooking pot. I need a cooking pot to do to for the glue. Oh, no, I don't. I don't need. We don't need the pan anymore. Guys, we don't need the pan anymore. We got it. We got a tier five. So my there it is glue. My uh, my idea was to hustle for glue and. For, for glue to make tape because we need tape to make our fancy new pan 
but we don't need it anymore because we found it. The beauty of finding it. That's the other thing. This POI, this biome might be dangerous, but at the same time, it's you're going to get a lot of good loot for it because your loot is better. Okay, we got it. We got decisions to make as far as our armor goes. Uh, and what did I say? I wanted to repair. I wanted to repair something and put a mod in it, right? But I didn't get any like clothing mods. Okay. All right. Let's go talk to let's go talk to Hugh and see what we get for this reward. <laughs> All right. And these are the freaking. This is why I love this mod. Look at look at the zombie on top of a deer. <laughs> <laughs> that deer will actually kick your tail with the axe on its head. I don't want to get too close to it. I don't want to aggro it. But <laughs> that's freaking hilarious. I love it. I love it. The the creativity for these mod creators is just out of this world. A zombie on top of a deer and the deer has an axe on its head and he'll axe you to you know what? Into your chop suey, I guess. But yeah, well, eventually we're going to fight one of those. That's so awesome. All right, let's see here. Uh, I mean, I, I really don't know what to put in my motorcycle. I mean, I guess I can put that. Did I ready? I, I haven't read you. Okay. I can't believe I haven't found that challenge where I have to take care of the lumberjack with that with the axe. That's insane. Uh, I'm going to grab one of you because we're going to we might do something daring in this episode. It's one o'clock. What's up, Hugh? What do you have? A beaker? Do I already have guys? I don't know if I have a beaker. I don't know if I have a beaker, so I'm just gonna take it. I might have one, I can't remember. Alright, what kind of jobs do you have? Tier four jobs. Alright, uh they're all far. And the only one that's close is a night job. I figure that he wasn't gonna have a lot of close jobs because there isn't a big town here, so what are you? The high school? If you're not afraid of a few Zed heads, I'm not. I've got I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. We're gonna do the high school. Hopefully, it, run, it doesn't run in tonight. And I'm gonna sell him some stuff here. Good luck. Let's just make sure I don't sell them. You know what? I'm gonna keep that. I'll read that. It's not our build, but sometimes completing the series for a lot of books will give you a perk uh, that benefits your overall game, not necessarily like a brawler perk. And today's 25. You reset yesterday. We have 6,700 dukes. That's not a lot. Oh, the stun baton. We Again, that's another challenge. Here's the steel. Yep, I'm taking it. I don't need it right now, but I'm going to need it eventually. So I'm taking that. And no forge ahead magazines. That is very unfortunate, sir. Disappointed, to say the least. And okay, that's it. That is it. I'll buy the steel tool parts because I know we're going to need those. Well, do we? I don't know. They're all tier ones. I don't know if I'm ever going to do like a tier six. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Okay. Now you're armed and dangerous. A super armed and dangerous and ready to go. Let's read these mags. And then let's see here. So this one gives us... This is natural crit healing. Hey, my mod is back. Reduces critical injuries. And then the biker one does increase max health. Oh, boy. I'm on the fence. I'm going to hold off on that. I, I should probably change it, though, because, I mean, it's a level higher. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I wonder if I have to. I need to go to my outpost first, and then I'll meet you guys at this quest. All right, all right. I had to make a little pit stop, guys. We got our drop for the day. It's every three days, uh, we got, oh, nice, some time uh, charged ammo, an iron pickaxe, and crafting skill magazines. Let's go ahead and open these up. No forge ahead, so we'll just read all of these. Why not? Big hitters. Where are we with? Well, big hitters really. Uh, well, we can do a, a ratchet now. Nice. Oh, what's up, dude? With your big old gun. Pistol quality four. That's not bad. I think that's what we have back at home. And the the city is huge. Let me show you. It is huge. I just I went home and then I drove over here. I mean, it's it's pretty big. I don't know how this is the closest. Tier 4 POI, since there are so many options in this huge city. But that's that's, that's what it is, so... I'm not going to complain, I promise. Let's get started here. This is a P POI that I'm kind of familiar with. Not too, too familiar with it, but... I'm going to grab... I'm going to bring all this with me. All this... Uh, the Skull Crushers, we're going to use those. We're going to use the Time Charges for the, for the last box. Let me lock them in. 
there we go uh and uh let's see here we're good to go i may have to use ammo here unfortunately all right let's make sure everything is reloaded I have a lumberjack up there already he's ready to fight you know what i'm gonna search this he doesn't have a gun so i don't have to worry about him sh shooting at us nothing great Just some shrooms lumberjacky what's up buddy all right very cool all right let's get in here Again, I'll try to do a little bit of commentating and just kind of show you guys the highlights and see if I feel like that flow better than the previous flow. Guys, I'm gonna bring you in for the final fight. I don't want to edit this uh, or do the time time lapse because this this gets pretty juicy. It gets pretty intense. I do still have my vitamins. I have three minutes worth, and it, these guys are gonna be. Oh, you know what? I want to take care of the jumping dudes. Oh, well, we missed that shot and that one. What is wrong with my aim? There we go. Yeah, if I can get rid of these guys, that's that's to me that's more than half a battle. Oh, I woke this one up. Okay, got that one. I don't know how many there are. It doesn't seem to be that intense. Okay, you made it through. That's fine. You're a goner now. Alright, awesome. You're done. I see a little silhouette. Okay, as long as there's there are no more in the rafters on top, they're going to fall on us. We're good. This guy's still asleep. That's awesome. We get the beat on him. I haven't used my my melee candy so i haven't had the need for it yet so i think we're good ah i tried oh i did get away from it nice wait is this it this can't be it there's another crawler over here no this was very oh what what's is there someone around here that has so this guy was gone has been dead for a while now and for some reason he still i we still walk walked by him and we were radiated which is kind of weird all right, let's go take a look at the loot. Another steel pan level five. I'm going to see which one's better because even though they are same level, doesn't mean they are the same. Oh, nice. Compound crossbow. Now we might switch to that. I, I know I don't like reloading, but that is a very powerful weapon. Shotgun weekly 49. How many more do we get our better shotgun? I got to check that out. Let's go ahead and grab these books. I did find a couple of things you guys have probably already noticed. We found a uh, shotgun weekly. Okay, so that's 50. That should give me something. No? Nothing? Uh, Wasteland Volume 7. Learn how to get brass. Yeah, lead and brass from sinks and pl plumbing. We'll read that. I'll read the sticks. Why not? Um, I love that we can search these military boxes. They're freaking awesome. Speaking of military box. Ooh, we got a tier uh, pistol 5. 
We, we have a pistol four at home and then machine gunner web, weapons handbook volume five fully automatic we, automatic fire is more accurate with each shot fire we'll take that and this is my favorite part of the i don't know why the, my time charges fell off this little slot here they shouldn't have but they did but anyways this is where we get to go and put it down now this might attract screamers i hope i hope it doesn't but it might. Uh, yeah, it still needs a little more. We'll do one more. And there should be a switch for me to just... Yeah, right there. And that should get us out to the to the entrance here. Now, it's already late. I'm not going to be able to turn this in, but that's all right. We'll just take a lot of our earnings over to our outpost setup shop. Set it up there, and uh, we'll worry about the rest later. Now, I do have... I did take a, a steroid. That's why my backpack is completely open. Uh, we'll read that. Oh, finally a forge ahead. We're collecting all our forge aheads, though. Oh, I was able to get everything. Nice. Go ahead and hit this little button here. All right, cool. And because, like I said, because I kind of went through all of this without me just narrating the entire time, this video is going to be shorter. So that's the difference between a longer video... And a shorter video so you guys let me know what you think in the comments uh, i'm just gonna finish looting these vehicles up and then ride home set up shop and then tomorrow we'll turn this quest in and we'll see if we can find another level four we might just continue doing oh whoa hello there cookie we might continue doing this until we get to either we finish all the tier four jobs for hugh or we get close to horde night which will be day 30. Now, our horde base is kind of done. I just need to get there, not the day before. Yeah, maybe just the day before. Or who knows? Maybe we'll go back home to do something important. I don't know. But anywho, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate your time. Please take care of yourselves. Always make good choices. And I'll see you on the other side.